Well, there is something to be said for quitting at the top or going out on top. And it would appear that Tom Holland, after delivering what is universally agreed upon as a massive hit with Spider-Man No Way Home, is ready to hang up the old spandex, making room, in his words, for a more diverse Spider-Man, that he wants a woman to play Spider-Man. I suppose this is an extraordinarily privileged position to be in, being Tom Holland, given the fact that you're probably going to make $50 million on this movie. You don't really care uh, about um, when the next Spider-Man movie is, since this one just came out. But uh, I'm not sure that I'd be running out there to, to quit on Spider-Man. Now, I, I think Tom Holland is a fine actor. Um, he, I thought he did pretty good in this Netflix movie. I think it was called Devil All the Time. It was him and Robert Pattinson. Um, pretty good movie. Um, I'm unfamiliar, I think, with anything else that he's in. But um, that's the buzz on the street, or at least taking a break from Spider-Man until it's filled by a wham -in. Tom Holland is taking a break from acting, says maybe it's time for a Spider-Woman. Now, look, Spider-Woman is a thing. There's nothing wrong with Spider-Woman. There's Spider-Woman in the lore. Spider-Woman always existed in the same time, at the same time as Spider-Man. Um, I'm not even against a Spider-Woman movie. Uh, what I do think is pretty hilarious is that it, this is really just virtue signaling from Tom Holland. He's he's not really quitting playing Spider-Man. I, I just... I can't imagine that to be the case, but who knows? Spider-Man actor Tom Holland has spoken about taking a break from acting to focus on starting a family and to get involved with projects outside of Hollywood. Holland, 25 years old, told people, I've spent the last six years being so focused on my career, I want to take a break and focus on starting a family and figuring out what I want to do outside of this world. Hey, it's actually pretty good uh, considering... Um, you know, retiring at 25, who knows? He added that he's excited to one day become a father. And if he could have a career outside of acting, he might be a school teacher. Holland's latest movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, is in theaters now and is pro projected to make a lot of money. Holland said he is grateful to Sony and Marvel for the job and he doesn't want to hang up uh, and he doesn't want to hang up the suit, although he admitted it might be time to do so. Quote, I don't want to say goodbye to Spider-Man, but I feel like we might already we, we might be ready to say goodbye to Spider-Man, he said. I don't want to be responsible for holding back the next young person that comes in who deserves it just as much. I'm not exactly sure what that means, to be honest with you. Sony producer Amy Pascal recently said that a new Spider-Man trilogy of films with Holland could be in the works, but importantly, no deal had been made. So this is not a sure thing. Whatever the case is, Holland said he's hoping to see the next Spider-Man franchise become more diverse with respect to who plays the lead role. Maybe you have Spider-Gwen or a Spider-Woman. We've had three Spider-Mans in a row. We've all been the same. It's nice to see something different. It actually isn't. You know, it, it actually isn't, Tom. Um, you know, this is the exact kind of garbage that gets you the Eternals um, and Shang-Chi, which I suppose are fine in their own right, but at what cost? Because this is clearly would be at the expense of more Spider-Man movies. Now, certainly Hollywood is capable of producing multiple films uh, at the same time. So, you know, having Spider a Spider-Woman movie at the same time going on at the same time as Spider-Man makes total sense. Or maybe even having Spider-Woman and Spider-Man share the big screen to help introduce her character. Or Spider-Gwen, for example, um, to help introduce her character into the MCU. This is a big problem that Disney and Marvel seem to have had uh, with these with these kind of like, um, you know, these actors and actresses who say this. Um, you see this, man, at this rate, we won't have any male characters in the MCU. I'm okay with a higher percentage of girl, hot girls and tights kicking butt than dudes. I could almost stand for it to be as high as 99%. I mean, when Ant-Man goes to five stories tall, no one wants him teabagging the IMAX screen. Um, 
I suppose. But the thing is, this goes in direct, uh, you know, flies in the face directly of what Kevin Feige said that, you know, essentially he wants Tom Holland to take over as, you know, Robert Downey Jr.'s kind of soul of the Avengers. Um, you know, I, I suppose, look, if you're 25 years old, you've got, I mean, probably plenty of cash. Uh, if you want to take time to start a family, I 100% support that. Maybe it's just bait, I suppose. It's entirely possible. Uh, you know, he could just say this stuff because it's just so easy to, to woke bait. But there's a ton of articles already out there on it. Tom Holland is lobbying for the next Spider-Man star to be a whammy. I mean, is he though? Is he or is he just expertly kind of uh, saying what needs to be, what he thinks you want to hear? This via Cosmopolitan. At this point, literally every, uh, even the actor who plays Spider-Man thinks the franchise could seriously use more diversity. How much more diversity? I mean, hit Mary Jane is, I don't know what her technical race is, but she's not white. Um, and then his best friend is Asian. So of the three main characters, it's pretty diverse. Um, and again, this is this weird kind of woke ideology that it's like, it's not about adding more diversity because it's never about adding more diversity. It's about replacing the one they don't like. I mean, that's quite honestly, that's what this is about. This is about replacing the white male Spider-Man with somebody else. Now, again, that's what people will want. Will Tom Holland really pass the torch? I don't know. He says, we've had three Spider-Mans in a row. We've all been the same. What he means is a white male. Um, it'd be nice to see something different. But that's not what we want. That's not what the fans want. Like, literally. This is, this is like, you just proved the fact that when you focus on fan service... And giving the fans what they want, they will come out and see your movies. You're like literally hours removed from the success of this movie. And you're already out there saying, well, um, yeah, well, the you, the customer, the worldwide customer has told me that they want more Spider-Man, that they want Spider-Man and they like Spider-Man. But um, let's actually give them something else that they don't want because it would be nice. Tom went on to explain that after six years of working nonstop, he's ready to slow down. And by the way, that's cool. That's totally cool. Um, you know, we're getting ready to make the next Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland and Marvel. She told Fandango back in November. We're thinking of this as three films, and now we're going on to the next three. So there's a serious same page getting to be done here. Now, perhaps Tom Holland is just, this is just a work from Tom uh, to, you know, get more money. It's possible. You know, the film universally liked by critics with a 94% and a 99% audience score. I, I don't think I've ever seen one that high. And that's not like a small amount of reviews. That's with nearly, or that's with more than 10,000 verified reviews. It has a 99%. So, you know, I, I, I mean, yeah, get me Spider Gwen, get me Spider Woman. I'm fine with that. Get him into the MCU. But the, the weird thing is that they don't seem to understand or they don't seem to have the patience for is that there used to be a way that you did this. You, you know, had them cameo, you had them kind of work on the side, you kind of had them show up here and there. Um, and then they got their own film, kind of like what they did with Black Widow. Although I think they waited too long for Black Widow. Um, if you were to just replace Spider-Man with Spider-Woman, that would be a disaster. Certainly. And of course, they would just blame the misogynistic fans or they would blame, you know, any number of weird uh, reasons, uh, any, any any number of weirdness. But, you know, ultimately, you know, Tom Holland wants to take some time off and, and, and lay the wood to this Zenadine Zadan or whatever her name is. Good for him. Uh, he wants to have kids. Good for him. Um, but I think he's probably just woke baiting here uh, to get some free headlines, but I don't know. Again, I don't think anybody watching this video would have any problem with a Spider Woman movie or a Spider Gwen movie. Um, but the idea that you can just replace Spider Man with Whammon and it would just be something fun because it's different doesn't work that way. People don't want it. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.